And a very familiar Ottawa voice can now be heard on 1310 News and seen right here on Rogers TV. Weekdays, it's broadcaster Rob Snow. And guess who's joining us right now? Hello, Rob. Because three hours is just not enough. <laughs> I'm right. glad you're back so, on TV yeah, yeah. Uh, here today with us. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's been a pretty hectic time in your life as of Ooh. late. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Uh, how's life at 1310 News? You know what? It's uh, The response has been tremendous. I, um, I really, Dylan, I couldn't wait to get back. Mm -hmm. And uh, the inaugural show uh, a week ago Monday, I have to say, for the first time in a long time, I was, I was actually nervous. But nervous, uh, eh? as soon as it, uh, you know, the show got underway, it was like, oh, okay, I remember how to do this. It's mm -hmm. uh, kind of like old habit. And then you hear from so many of your your loyal listeners, and it, uh, you know, it, it 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 really brings a. A smile to your face mm -hmm. from a guy who's not known to smile very much. <laughs> that's okay. Well, you're yeah. smiling now, and that's good. <laughs> now, I was I was going to ask you though. Have you heard from a lot of uh, familiar uh, uh, listeners, a lot of uh, callers? Oh yeah, yeah. I, uh, I think a lot of them have um, have moved across the city with me. I think they missed me. You know, when you're on the radio for as long as I was on the radio, and you you know you know this, you build a you build a, a relationship with people. You're you know there's there's a there's a relationship with your listeners. You're, mm -hmm. You become part of their uh, daily routine. Definitely. And when you know when you're not, when when you're not part of their daily routine, uh, they get kind of upset about it. But when you're back, they kind of they. Uh, my experience now uh, yeah. is uh, they open, they welcome you back with open arms. Makes you feel good because sometimes you wonder who's out there when you're talking into yeah. that microphone alone in the yeah. studio. Yeah. Uh, okay, so how many years then in Ottawa radio have, have you been? Uh, about 22 years. 22 now. years. Yeah, 22 okay. years. For those who aren't familiar with Rob Snow and the program, maybe they're learning yeah. about you for the first time, maybe even here today on uh, Rogers Daytime, what is your show all about? Well, it's a current events and, and news program. So we follow the news of the day, whether that's happening at Ottawa City Hall or happening in the city at the courthouse, all the local issues that people are concerned about because we're an Ottawa radio station. We want to focus on people in the listening area, but uh, we also focus on news that's happening just about anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, we have these teacher strikes that are happening, so we do a, a lot of issues about the Ford government and education policy. We do national news and cover the elections. We do international news and cover Donald Trump and all of that. If it's happening in the news, Chances are people have an opinion and want to share that opinion on the radio. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do as well. I share my opinions. We take a look at the news. We have experts on the news. But most of all, we it's an open platform where people can call in at 750-1310 and, and really share their opinion because people have a lot of opinions. That's great. Did it take you a while to memorize that number after giving out another one <laughs> for really so many years? Did, it really did. <laughs> it really did. Yeah. I understand there was like an office pool going on to see if I would screw that up. But so uh, mess the call one letters little up, slip right? up in the first two weeks. I've, I've so. done it myself. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what are some of the big events that you have covered over the two decades on the radio? Well, I was thinking about this, and there's so many, but... Um, in the last two decades, two really stand out for me. Mm -hmm. uh, one is just the whole mayoralty of Larry O'Brien. Yeah. And what that was like and what a wild trip that was. This this kind of brash businessman coming in and kind of taking over City Hall like a bull in a china shop. <laughs> that doesn't sound familiar at all, right? Well, we yeah. were kind of pioneers with that in Ottawa. And then the trial... You know, the mayor is on trial and, and covering that from start to finish and interviewing his lawyers and interviewing him and just what a what a crazy ride that was. But I think beyond time. the biggest one of all is the day that I went on the radio and I said, it's over, people. The winter bus strike hmm. is over. You know, there's a lot of talk now about the, the problems with light rail uh, and should we have backup bus service in Ottawa to deal with that? Imagine for an entire winter in Ottawa, there was no public transit. Yeah. At all. It was a difficult there time. There was no bus at all, mm -hmm. let alone no train. I mean, people had to quit school. People were quitting jobs or changing mm -hmm. jobs. I mean, it was an absolute nightmare all winter. So to go on the radio and say, it's over. You yeah. know, the, your bus is coming back. Good feeling. Eventually, you could just sense this this relief across the entire community. So th feels I think those voice. are two big ones for me. Yeah, yeah it definitely feels great to be a voice for people when, when they hear the news from you for yeah. the first time. Yeah. So with about a minute left then, 2020, obviously here we are, and some big stuff is coming up. Oh, so yeah. what do you think is going to be one of the big newsmakers? Well, I think what happens with light rail in Ottawa here, and can we get all of the problems that are plaguing the light rail system sorted out? I think uh, in provincial politics, how long uh, will these 
fights with teachers continue? Is there peace coming for the classroom? I think in provincial affairs, that's something to watch for. Uh, nationally, there's going to be a new leader of the Conservative Party, so mm -hmm. that's something we'll be paying attention to. And, of course, internationally, anything to do with Trump, but uh, its impeachment has started this week, and it's the election year in the United States, mm -hmm. and we'll be talking it's about it be all. a big year. Uh, 20 seconds left. Did you have to buy a whole new wardrobe? I had to buy a whole on, new wardrobe. On television? Yeah, yeah. yeah shirts with collars. <laughs> yeah. And I call this, I call this, this is my Mr. My Mr. Rogers sweater. It's a very good okay. look. Rogers. Rob okay. Snow, like thank Rogers you very much. TV. <laughs> Daytime Rogers on TV. Rogers TV. Okay. Thank you very much, Rob. Great, Great to work. see you, Dylan. Great to see uh, thank you, you for now the invitation. On 1310 News. More daytime coming up.